a real-life rock phenom, a demonized vice president, and a fading star born to a new generation. Today, we're diving into the deep end with the Oscars Best Actor nominees. An ongoing theme in the movie is to dig deep and say something. How do each of you apply that to your art day in and day out? Uh, try to actively apply it every day. Bradley Cooper is hoping he dug deep enough with The Star is Born to win his first Oscar. He spoke with our Terry Hart about relating to the waning rock star who struggles with alcoholism. I mean, any time that you, you, uh, you play a character, you find every single personal aspect of yourself so you don't have to act. Um, that said, I did, they didn't make it easy on either one of us in writing characters that are different, very different for both of us. Cooper was snubbed in the directing category, and considering the only major award a star is born has earned him so far is a Grammy, could a shutout lead Coop to consider a backup career as a pop star? <laughs> nah. I enjoyed the show. I also write songs. Critics have found somebody to love in Rami Malek. Praise for his portrayal of Queen frontman Freddie Mercury translated to him beating out Cooper and others for Golden Globe, SAG, and BAFTA trophies. Will the rookie go one for one at Oscar? I can handle the more mundane jobs. Christian Bale is the other favorite in this category for becoming Dick Cheney in Vice. This could be his first lead actor win. Bale has already picked up a Globe and a pair of Critics' Choice Awards. And we all know the Oscars love a physical transformation. I love painting. I have to paint. I've always been a painter that I know. Willem Dafoe was the surprise entry in this category. Besides a Golden Globe nod, the veteran actress turned as Vincent Van Gogh in At Eternity's Gate has gone otherwise unnoticed this award season. Do you foresee any issues in working for a black man? You and the Deep South? Vigo Mortensen might have lost himself the Oscar after using a racial slur while promoting Green Book. Mortensen has apologized and says he's learning, much like his character in the film, about racial prejudice in the 1960s. It was a theme he spoke about when we caught up with him at TIFF. It's just a learning experience. He has to get to know him. At first he thinks he's stuck up and then he later realizes he's not. He realizes he's just a gentleman. For City News, I'm Devo Brown.